What's up everybody? It's the Asian Video Gamer here today. Coming to you with a Dark Souls 2 PvP session. Uh, today I'm going to do something uh, completely new. It's a type of build that I I was thinking of doing and uh, it's a crossover between two games that I love. One is Dark Souls, the other one is Chrono Cross. Uh, this character is supposed to be the main uh, protagonist in Chrono Cross, Surge. Um, he wields a twin blade type of weapon and uh, in Dark Souls 2, he happens to have this new weapon type, which is awesome. But unfortunately, the twin blade is not something I'm familiar with. And you're gonna see, like, right off the bat, I suck and I just get killed. So, I was testing out its property to brick shields. That's why I'm, I was spamming it, but it's actually really bad to do that. And here, I'm getting owned by a guy with a bowl. I have no idea what to do against a bowl, bowl user. Like, whether or not I should just jump at him or roll, roll, roll. But, you know, you can tell, like, right now, I pretty much what wasted all my stamina to try to get close to him but I I can't beat him like I just can't touch him for some reason and he, he knows when to shoot it which sucks like I have no idea what to do against him and then here I get lucky with a few stabs I don't know what he was doing he just like, froze there maybe he was lagging but now that he's unlagged and made some space between us. He's gonna finish me off. Yep. This fight taught me how to, you know, like be careful about going up against a ranged attacker. I'm gonna be doing a new series of uh, Dark Souls playthrough um, with a little bit of a twist. I was planning to do like a story based type of uh, playthrough regarding Dark Souls and uh, the funny thing is I find a lot of elements in Dark Souls kind of cross over with Chrono Cross really well. Like um, you know the dragons, the fate, and the frozen flame and the first flame. There's also some references between like Lavos, the the main antagonist in the Chrono series, and the beast in Demon Souls. I haven't planned everything through yet, so I'm still trying to make some sort of story type type thing or tell a story based upon that. But for now, like I'm just just shooting ideas and shooting, like like trying to make film, film, film some of the stuff. Um, well, first of all, I need to make the bell work, actually. So, like these twin blades are so crappy. I was so frustrated using them, like to duel at least. In PVE, they're they're a little bit better, but. They're not that good. Here you see like a tur turtle and a guy with pavels, gray shield, but I just melted them down. And that's the only thing that the twin blade is good against. Against tanks that come at you really close. That's the only type of character I can duel against. And usually I don't buff my weapons, but for this build, oh my god, if I don't buff my weapons, it's so bad. Here, I don't know why this guy shot at me. Instead, when when I was bowing down, this guy's like douchebag, bag, but whatever. No honor in Dark Souls 2, right? Just go for the win. For some reason, I can't, I can't get him. I think that hit him. I don't know. Maybe he was a hacker. No idea. 
then this guy just gives me a root jester to finish. What the fuck? Get out of here. So, after so many defeats, I've decided to change it up a bit and use the sentient spear. I know this spear is actually really overused. And I just wanted to try it out for myself. And holy shit, it's a beast. This thing is so good. Like, the the thing about PvP in Dark Souls is that you gotta have a lot of options. And this thing gives you that options. God damn, it's such a good weapon. Like, right now it has like what? This this spinning attack is so fast that, you know, if you want to trade somebody to finish somebody off like that, you can. It's so crazy. It hit three times. It just melts people down. Here, um, I'm going up against a more tanky guy, and I thought I I can beat him by spamming, but you know, like I'm I'm still new with this weapon, so I still have no idea what to do. But this guy's melting me down with that. I don't know what that is, and I was not doing that much damage. Though. I still can't get, you know. I still can't get why I can't roll away from those bull attacks, those, those avalins. Man, right here I realize like people that like to spam R ones, I have nothing against unless I use a shield, and I'm gonna use a magic shield so I can do like a better parry. But it's not really for blocking, I guess. I guess I can use it for blocking magic attacks. I might upgrade this shield later on, but no, no plans to do it yet. And this guy, like, holy shit! Right off the bat, the fire whip. And I'm, I've never went against the fire whip yet, so I did not know what to do. But apparently, I should, maybe shot, should have like dodged left. I try, I try to unlock and hit him with that, but failed but you know my backup was a uh, hexes that hex dealt a lot of damage to this guy man like 40% of life and here look at that spinning attack so much better than his halberd and there switch it up to one hand and poke him right through damn that this, this thing has so many options it's so crazy uh, this is going to be the last duel, but it's also my um, favorite duel because I was able to land something that I was not able to do before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and look forward to the Chrono Cross and Dark Soul crossover videos that's going to come out soon. Okay? There's the parry, man. Holy shit. I knew he was going to come at me because I saw that. And I don't know why he just stood there and let me kill him off. But GG. So, if you like, please subscribe and uh, leave a comment. If not, leave a comment. So, toodles, guys.